1984, I was a total disaster. Drug addict, homeless in the streets of Los Angeles, came home to my mother's house, which was a good place to be because at that time, my mother is like one of these old Italian ladies whose little house had more Catholic stuff in it, <laughs> Bibles, crucifixes, rosaries, holy pictures and statues, holy water, man, you name it. <clears throat> now the devil would take a terrible beating in there. <laughs> so that was a good place for me to be, to get away from the bad life that I was living in. I, I, <laughs> I remember I, night of June 24th, 1984, I was suicidal, although I never attempted it ever in my life, but I, I felt that way though. I mean that, that all the forces of hell were riding on my shoulders, weighing me down, and had been for years. And I remember that night I said to God, if you're real, and I don't know if you are, I just don't know anymore, then you better help me because I'm going to die real soon. And that night I had a very strange experience and I will not even begin to try to explain it to you. I do not understand it and it's not really important. But I experienced the mercy of God. Now I had no visions, I heard no voices, nothing like that. I just had a very deep pervasive sense of peace. Perhaps that peace which surpasses all understanding that the Bible talks about came within me and all night I was immobilized by peace. I couldn't twitch a muscle. And I lay in that peace and in the morning I was released from that peace and I knew one thing. I knew God's name. And I knew that God's name is mercy. God's name is mercy. And I cried tears of repentance. I knew God loved me. Beyond any shadow of a doubt. I knew God loved me and I knew he forgave me of my many, many sins. But of course, just to be saying, just to be safe, I said to my mother that morning, well, you know, I think I'd like to go to confession. Now, <laughs> you have no idea <laughs> of the significance of that statement. And trying, trying not to faint <laughs> or otherwise out. She said, okay. And I said, yeah, but I don't want to go any place. You know, I'm, I, I, I want to go someplace special. She said, okay, I'll take, I know where to go. I know where to take you. And so uh, my mother took me to Orysville, to the shrine of the North American martyrs. And we were walking and I was going to go to confession. We saw a priest and I said, Father, I'd like to go to confession. He said, well, I'm going up here to say mass, but go down there to the, to the office and there's an old priest there on the, on the front porch and he'll hear your confession. So I was scared to death, but I went down there and I asked the priest if I could go to confession. He said, yes, I knelt down, made my confession. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's 20 years since my last confession. I made a good confession as best I possibly could. Everything I could remember, I, 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 did, I made what's called an integral confession. The priest raised his hand. And out of his mouth I heard these words. I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he said, this is a great moment. It's exactly 3 p.m. The hour of mercy. The hour Jesus died for you on the cross. And he said, but there's something else. I sense that there's something even more than this. And I said, I know what it is, Father. He said, you do? I said, oh, yes. I'm called to be a priest. <laughs> now, this was an old man. <laughs> and I don't know how much strength he had left in life. <laughs> but he kind of was shaking in his chair. And, 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 he, and he stuttered and stammered. And he said, well, anything is possible with God. <laughs> Seven years later, St. Peter's Basilica, Trinity Sunday, 
1991, my mother was there. I was ordained. I went up and I knelt before Pope John Paul II. His hands came down on my head in the form of the Sacrament of Holy Order. And I remembered where I had been. I had remembered the darkness and all the struggles and all the pain and all the sin. Oh, I remember where I'd been. But I knew where I was at that moment. And I was ordained a priest and we went out and 10,000 people were cheering. Three choirs singing. The next day, we processed across the main floor of St. Peter's Basilica down into the crypt below the main floor. My mother was there, some of the priests in my congregation. And I celebrated my first Mass over the very bones of St. Peter in the Clementine Chapel in the crypt of St. Peter's Basilica. celebrated Mass for the first time. And I remember one of our priests said, it is good that we are here. After Mass, I was making my thanksgiving, walking along the perimeter of the main floor of St. Peter's upstairs, and in the shadows, I heard a man whispering, Psst, Father, Father. And he motioned me to come closer. He said, Father, I'd like to go to confession. And I remember thinking the profound thought, I can do that. <laughs> and he made a beautiful confession. He began, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's 30 years since my last confession. And he confessed his sins. And for the first time in my life, I raised my hand. And those beautiful words came out of my mouth. I absolve you. It's Jesus speaking through me. Not me. I can't do anything. Jesus speaking. I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I swear I could almost hear the chains fall off that man and rattle to the marble floor. De oppresso liber. To free the oppressed. To set the captives free. And three years later, maybe it was two, I was in Florida preaching and my father came down to hear me preach for the first time. And he listened to me for two days and then he had to leave that third morning and he said, you got a minute for your old man? And I said, sure, Dad. I, I thought we were going to have breakfast like we did every morning. He said, look, I'd like to go to confession. And I took him in the rectory and he knelt down and my old man had been a tough guy in his day. Man hard-headed, testadura. <laughs> but he was old now, he wasn't young and he was beaten up by age and illness and he began Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I heard this come out of my own father's mouth. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It is 50 years since my last confession. And he made a beautiful confession in tears on his knees. And again, I raised my hand. And those words came out of my mouth. I absolve you from your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the first words out of my father's mouth were, I've been in the dungeon for a very long time. But now I'm free. Now I'm free. Now, brothers and sisters, that's our church. That's the beauty of the Catholic Church. Know what you have cherish what you have, live what you have, and walk confidently into the future because God knows your name and he loves you and he's waiting for you and you can do anything in the holy name of Jesus.